So welcome to a quick video on OBS. As you see guys, this is OBS 20.0.1, uh, which is the 64-bit version, and the latest version as of the um, 22nd of August 2017. So I thought I'd just do a quick video um, with OBS. It's got very simple um, to use now with the update. It gives you a quick configuration wizard um, as you install on it, gets everything prepared. Um, and changes the settings to your PC which is great so you've got the best optimal settings uh, that OBS uh, thinks can handle with your machine basically um, so I thought I'd give you a quick video of how to use this little interface bit because it can be a bit daunting at first uh, but you start off as it is here and the only thing that you need to do is you've got a scene and you want to add a source so first of all you could add um, let's say a displaced capture so we'll do main monitor as you see here um, you've got your main monitor and we'll click this little icon so the, uh, you can't move it around because if you unclick it you can move it we'll put it back and lock that down so as you see, I'd normally use this in my second monitor, so obviously you can see uh, what's going on, but you can't see the OBS. So, but I can see it obviously. We'll move it back to the middle just so that we can uh, show you some other settings. Um, as you see, I've not changed anything. Um, everything in general is the same. In streaming, obviously in the wizard you can um, add your Steam key, um, so you can use different services. Um, obviously the most popular ones is Twitch and YouTube um, your output again I've not changed anything here what I am going to do though is I'm going to quickly change um, this to my D drive look at the baggins so I've got everything going to a hard drive instead of my SSD um, audio the I am going to change that to my voice meter output and video I'm going to leave all the same I'm going to change that to 48k because I've got all my audio about devices at 48 kilohertz um, I'm going to change, put, set up some hotkeys so I'm going to use um, obviously you can use whatever you want but I use F9 to start stream and F10 to stop F8 to start and to stop recording and I've got an extra key on my keyboard that I can use for the mute and unmute so that's pretty much pretty much it to get recording from the get go now the only problem with, with main monitor if you're playing a game you won't tab obviously everyone can see everything you're doing so what I like to do is you can add a new one so you could just put gaming and then Okay, you could then add a game capture and it wouldn't be just a game capture though because it's a full screen capture so add that and that will capture any full screen application so that's all in all you've got your gaming you can game and you can add different things like images and have layers on what I like to do is, obviously each game, I have my uh, layers at different places, um, overlayers that is. So we'll, for an example, play unknown battleground, PUBG, and then add a game capture. Call this play unknown battleground, PUBG game. You can't use the same name um, as a scene or a source, so we'll add that and then capture specific window so what we need to do first of all is it isn't here and that's because we need to launch the game so if we launch battlegrounds As you see, this is uh, the game's launched. So I'm going to Alt Tab and then what 
I do need to do that is refresh this because it's not on here. So console, right click and click properties, go back down to capture specific window and then it will be shown here, play with known backgrounds. So if we OK through that, as you see, it is now shown in OBS. Press OK. And there you go. So I'm going to lock the uh, picture down as well so we don't move in that. So what I normally do is I'd add an image and I'd call this global uh, work. Oh, the Grow Baggins logo. Make Grow Baggins. Like that. So I go to my YouTube. I go to pictures. I've just reinstalled Windows. So. Uh, have a message is coming up just to get permission. Oh, we need watermarks. There you go. So open a PNG and press OK. And we can then size this as big as we want. Put it there. I'll put it down here for change. So well, you can put it wherever you want. That'll uh, that'll do for now. I'm, I'm sure I'll change it. I can't remember where I uh, had it on this game. So um, again, you can add web cameras, um, video capture devices, separate webcam. And there you go guys. Size that as big as you want, move it around. And you just uh, set that up little eye icon and to change turn it off. Turn it back on. Etc. So that's pretty much it guys. Um, you know quick video on OBS and how it all works. Um, got any questions drop a comment I'll uh, be happy to uh, try and answer any questions if I don't know the answer I'm sure someone will uh, so don't forget to uh, like the video if you've liked it disliked it if you dissed and uh, thanks for watching and happy gaming